Hi, welcome back to Grit Gym. I'm Adam Reese. Today with me is Bill Kwan. Bill just got back from the World Transplant Games where he took 10 gold medals. And the reason that we um, want to kind of give him a spot is because he has a pretty cool message to, to get across uh, to, uh, to go into a little bit about Bill's story that he might not touch on. Uh, uh, Bill had a liver transplant, and in a liver transplant, they pretty much cut your body right in half. It's just surgery like that, they cut you open like that, they open you up, they take everything out. Your liver sits in the back a little bit, and so you gotta dig pretty deep to get in there. And then they replace the liver, put everything back in, and sew you up. So Bill was basically cut in half, and then he's worked his way back to being able to be um, a swimmer again, and to compete again. And uh, we're gonna go into a little bit about, uh, Bill's gonna tell you a little bit about his story. I've always worked out, uh... 20, 20 years ago, I climbed Grand Teton. I was a rock climber, whitewater rafting, whitewater canoeing, and kayaking. And I was just a, always, um, always a master swimmer, always entering swim meets, uh, running races. When I was really, when I was first married, early four, I ran in every race, you know, that they had all around the town. And then when I finally moved to the place we had a pool, I started swimming, and uh, again, and it was great. Tell me about your shoulder before. Uh, my shoulder, my left shoulder has been injured for 25 years. I heard it uh, in a two mile uh, race, swimming race, uh, and I kept going and I should have stopped. And I was too um, ignorant to stop swimming. And I kept swimming until it was to the point where I couldn't reach my seat belt and put my coat on. And I tried physical therapy. I had a doctor who wanted to cut the tendon out that was that was inflamed, but I didn't do that. Um, <laughs> and uh, and I've, I've, I've had every type of physical therapy. I had a, a chiropractor put um, uh, ac acupuncture needles in there and put and hook electrodes to them. I go, isn't that too high? <laughs> he goes, no, that's the way we want it. I go, okay. I mean, I've done everything. Nothing ever worked. It was either hurting or I was either injured and couldn't swim or it was hurting. What was, uh, what was it like to swim on the hurt shoulder? Well, I, I really couldn't do it. I really shouldn't have done it. It was it's horrible because it hurt right in the pole. And it's, um, now it doesn't hurt there anymore. What made you uh, finally say to come in here and get, well, I had get the, it looked at? I had, um, the reason why I had a liver transplant, I had hepatitis C and I had to take this medicine that brought my hemoglobin down below 10. I had, I, had no, I had no oxygen going in my muscles, it was a 12 week ordeal. And I had two months to get ready for the Transplant Games of America. And I knew I was tight and I had talked with Adam on numerous occasions. He's told me how tight I was and finally decided I'm going to do this right. And I'm going to get my shoulders and my back and my chest loosened up correctly. I've done, I'm 60 years old and I've done every type of training you can imagine. I went from aerobics to heavy lifting to you know, max sets. Uh, I've, I've done it all and, and what seems like um, it, you got to have a plan and our plan is to get my shoulders right and everything seems to be, everything's working out great so far. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. Patients did your shoulder and your surgery put on you? Oh, I never. I um, I kept. I was always getting re-injured. As soon as I would get in top shape, I would injure my shoulder. And I'm not quite in top shape yet for what I want to be in the, in the next year. But I know the following uh, program here is going to. I'm going to be able to train and not get re-injured right when I'm in top shape. What were the problems with what you were using before? I wasn't stretching correctly, I didn't know. I mean, I'm a personal trainer myself, and I was doing, I was going to yoga classes and doing stretches and doing different things here, and my shoulders are back farther and down, and my posture's better, and I can, I can feel, I feel different as far as when I'm walking and stuff, I feel straighter. Did you ever think of quitting? Did you ever think of giving up? Yeah, I thought about that question a lot. Um, when I was really sick, I thought it would be easier if I just died. And I went through what I went through. No, 
I didn't I didn't think about giving up when I was when I was sick with the cancer I would um, I went to the gym and work out and lift weights and swam and um, I didn't swim in any swim meet swim meets in until after my transplant but uh, I told the manager of the gym that I wanted to be buried in a in a sleeveless shirt <laughs> and have a little big smile on my face. What made you uh, have the courage to keep on going with all this stuff? Like even after your train, like during your when you were sick and after when you were sick, and then to, to keep going with uh, your training to compete. What do you think about your donor? girl died and I received her liver and her family's lost so in my mind. It makes me a little emotional. But um it's uh it's like you you all uh not all oh, just something you have to do. I mean I I can't think of a better word, you just want to um Use your gift. What do you think? In like, a positive way. What do you think? Like the the highest point of this journey has been for you? Well, this uh, I had a goal. I had two months to get ready. I was uh, I was ten pounds lighter, and uh, I had no. You know, I had almost no muscle mass, and uh, I couldn't hardly walk across the room without breathing hard. And my goal was to win 10 gold medals at the Transplant Games of America, and I did that. Uh, I thought about it. What was the low point? Uh, before, a couple of years ago, when I hurt my shoulder again, I couldn't swim. And when I hurt it, when it actually is injured, I have to stay out of water about two months before I can swim again. And I can't remember exactly what it was, but whenever my shoulders, when I, whenever I'm unable to swim, that's my level. Like, when was the point where you're like, you weren't afraid to get back in the pool again and not injure your shoulder? I uh, mean, this time? This time, yeah. This time I never stopped. I didn't, um, I, yeah, I want to promote organ donation and the purpose of the Transplant Games of America and the World Transplant Games is to show people that people with organ transplants can be healthy and uh, to show how we honor and it's, it's the, um, it's, uh, it's just, we honor our donors and the donor families because that's how, that's just, it's through athletic performance, that's how it is. How's life different now? Since, um, well after my transplant I had a, I had a purpose. I had, I, I wanted to promote organ donation, I do, um, I've, I, I've done uh, talks at the hospital. I've, I advocate organ donation and every day. And there's not a dad, I'm thankful for It's, uh, it makes me want to really, really, I mean, I always wanted to compete and win and uh, swim faster than everybody else or jump higher or whatever. But now it's given me more motive, motivation. So I'm more, more motivated, I have a purpose, I have somebody who I want to honor. That's uh, how I do it. Do you have any uh, kind of parting words? Or? Well, there's uh, almost 700 people in Iowa who are waiting in uh, an organ and they're going to die. I'm not sure how many people die every day, but there's all of a sudden in Iowa who are waiting on Oregon, so I would just like to see more organ donors. It's, um, it's, you can be a hero. And how does it feel to be able to do what you're doing? It feels great. Especially when people say, you're 60? <laughs> yeah. How does it feel with the alternative of not being able to get in the pool. I would be devastated. That's what one of the side effects of the medicine I took is depression and a lot of people stop the medicine before the treatment's over. 
I had a friend who did nothing but lay in bed for 12 weeks because he hurt and was depressed and I went to work every day and went to the pool every day and two weeks left of my treatment I started working out here at Great Gym. Like I said before, I've tried just about everything and this is a uh, Great Gym is uh, they treat your whole, you train your whole body, your whole body together. Your whole body moves together. Everything's connected. And uh, I had trainers that just focused on getting strong. They didn't focus on getting strong, getting flexible, using your entire body. And uh, it's just completely different. I mean, this kind of stuff that I use, I don't have the equipment we have here where I work. But it's kind of hard to, in a typical gym, it's, it's hard to do the, it's hard to, um, to do the to total body thing. You got to be real, uh, you got to be real innovative because they have machines. And people are locked in machines. And when I was in, uh, when I was lifting real heavy, and I do, you know, five sets to failure and, and one set reps and stuff, and I was about. 165 pounds, I'm 145 now. I wondered why I couldn't at work, why we were trying to lift a pump or a generator. These guys, so I knew I could out bench press, were, could lift the pumps and generators. Well, I figured out that that's not the best way for me to do it. It's the best way is to do a, a total body, a holistic type of um, workout. And that's what we do here at Great Gym. Did you notice any other stuff like like the soft tissue, the types of exercises that you do, the um, the series that you do them in, or anything like that. Like, uh, there's this different than like what's different about the physical therapy offices and the. Well, because you go to physical therapy and there, it seems like they go by. You come in and say your shoulder hurts, and they have a recipe. You know, whatever that physical. Maybe I haven't gotten a good uh, physical therapist, but I've done. I, all different kinds of therapies, but it's like to have a recipe and nothing's worked. Nothing has worked before, and now my shoulder seems fine. It started to get sore in the beginning because I swam too much. I'm 60 years old, I gotta swim just a little bit less and spend more time in the gym. And uh, it, it, I just cut down on my swimming a little bit, and I went to the transplant games in, uh, in Houston, Texas, and. So I am really, really well, and I wasn't sore. I iced it uh, the night uh, between the first and the second day, and I was, I was fine. I'm fine, and it's, I'm amazed.